Hello, Veronica Spriggs here and welcome to another tutorial on digital scrapbooking. Today we're going to learn how to create our very own cluster frame. Now in case you're wondering what a cluster frame is, I've got an example already for you. Here you can see a set of four different cluster frames and each frame has been already adorned with a cluster or a grouping of elements to just add a really fun and decorative touch to your frame. You can see here how the cluster frames have been used in a layout. And to create that effect on your own, I'm going to show you now how to use your digital scrapbook kits and elements to create your very own cluster frame. Let's get started. I'm using Photoshop CS4 and today we're going to be using a digital scrap kit by Lathis Designs and the name of this kit is Never Stop Smiling and I think these colors are absolutely adorable we've got some gorgeous elements and it's going to make a beautiful cluster frame okay now as you can see here is the set of elements that comes included in the scrap kit I've already taken the liberty to sort these into the ones that I'm going to be using just for the sake of saving time and I have basically picked out a few elements I think would really group nicely together um, I'm going to start first with the frame before I do that I'm going to go ahead and open up a new uh, working a working file in Photoshop I go to new and I'm gonna be using a 12 by 12 layout so basically I have a preset saved already 12 by 12 because I use that all the time and you can see it's 12 inches by 12 inches and the resolution is set at 300 pixels and um, I'm using a transparent background and go ahead and select OK and I've got a, a new file alright I'm ready to get started so I'm gonna start now first with my frame okay I'm going to click on my frame layer and drag it onto my um, working layer close up my original file and I'm gonna position this in the center you see this is a relatively large frame so I'm gonna scale it down a little bit I'm going to duplicate this layer I'm gonna select both layers and position this in the center of my frame I'm going to go ahead and merge these layers together and start adding in my elements it's very important to remember that when you're working to create a cluster frame the beauty is in the balance so you want to be able to learn how to group elements together in a balanced and pleasing way as well as you know working with different sizes different textures and different colors okay the first thing I'm gonna grab is this string and remember I'm, I'm gonna just wing this so I don't know exactly how this is gonna turn out um, rotate our string here that's really cute size it down a little bit I'm gonna do this relatively quickly just because um, the sake of the video but you'll f you, you may want to take your time a little bit until you get the hang of it 
and you may want to you know try moving your elements around from place to place see where they're going to basically work out the best and remember you're looking for a balance Now I know that I want to have the bird sitting on this branch, so I'm going to go ahead and rotate that. Um, the thing with clustering, sometimes less is more, and sometimes more is more. You can go as big or as small as you want to. I tend to use a lot of elements and go for big uh, cluster groupings, but if that's not your thing, then you can, of course, scale it down. I think I just want to use a portion of this cluster. And the thing that I found when I see really great clusters is a lot of the times the designer or the layout artist who's creating the cluster will use their um, elements very selectively maybe only using a portion of the element and by doing that they're able to have much more control over the frame and the cluster that they're creating so if you think that the element is adding a little too too much to your um, grouping then or just use the portions of it that you want and this is coming along really nicely. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this ribbon layer again. So that I can add a little bit of that over to the other side of the frame. And remember when I talk about balance, what I mean is if I add to the left side, I want to try and add something that equally balances out the right side. I'm going to add that over to the other side. Okay, now we're going to go for a little bit of bling. Drag that down here below our frame. I'm going to duplicate this layer and just to balance it out on the right hand side. I'm only going to use a portion of that over here. And actually, I'm only going to use a portion of it over here as well. Now we're going to bring in some of our flowers. She's got so many nice ones to choose from. You want to scale it down and remember make sure that your sizes are proportionate as well because that also creates the balance of your cluster frame.
and you want to move things around, play with them, and see where they're going to work out best for you. Remember to play with your sizes as well. I think that should do it. Um, one element that I simply could not resist was this beautiful little birdie. So I have to make sure he finds his way on here. Isn't that so cute? There you have it. Now the only thing that could make this uh, cluster frame better is of course a drop shadow. So I'm going to start with my first element here. And I'm going to bring in a little bit of drop. And this is a very important step in creating a cluster frame because once you put it on the page, you want to make sure that it has depth from your background layer. I'm going to copy this layer style and basically I'm going to add it to all of my layers except for the frame and the glitter in the background. That's a quick way to do it. For the frame, I don't want to add, I do want to add a shadow, but just not as much. So I'm going to add that separately. I'm going to merge these two and see if maybe they might need just the tiniest drop shadow. Basically, I'm just going to use the default style and um, lower the opacity a bit just so that it has some pronunciation on the page, but it's not going to be overdone. And that's it. I've created a cluster frame. I'm going to add the background so that you can see what it looks like. I love this kit. Okay, I'm going to choose this background. And I'm going to drag this onto my layer. Make sure that it's the bottommost layer. Close out my original. Now I'm going to use my polygon lasso tool to cut around my frame. And I'm going to use two photos I already have ready. I think the black and white goes really well here. Make sure you drag that below your background layer. And I'm going to float my selection to a new layer so I can get rid of this extra bit that's taking over the other frame. Delete the unused portion and now I'm going to add a colored version of the photo. going to do the same thing over here. And there you have it. You've created a cluster frame and it's really fun and very simple for adding a lot of interest to a page in a very quick way. That's it for today. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye and happy scrapping.